Good morning, good afternoon, good evening everybody. Welcome back to another video from Digital Pages. In this video, I am going to discuss 5 different areas where you can leverage ChatGPT to save your time, make your work more effective and become a star in your organization. Let me start with the first one, ideas to solution. The other day, one of my clients gave about a list of 100 different problems or challenges which was listed from a, a brainstorming session which they conducted internally and I was asked to go through these lists and come up with various solutions or ideas that can be implemented to drive improvements. I used the chat GPT to generate a list of potential ideas against the pain points provided by the client. That included ideas for simplification, standardization and intelligent automation. You can use chat GPT to understand and define the business problem or goal. You can generate ideas, evaluate and prioritize refine combined ideas, develop detailed solutions, gather feedback and iteration, finalize and implement solutions. You can also monitor these solutions. Let me take an example here. A value stream that is familiar to me and maybe to some of you, source to pay. Anyone from a procurement and accounts payable background would understand this. You can use this as an example to apply in any of your specific value streams. The concept remains the same. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT, give me a list of process improvement ideas in source to pay It provides me with an extensive list, some really interesting ones. Let me pick one of those ideas from here. And I want to build a specific problem related to this. The current payment to suppliers takes on an average 90 days from the time the invoice is received. This is affecting supplier relationship, loss of discounts and delay in future good delivery which impact production. Can you create a problem statement? ChatGPT created a very detailed problem statement for me. Now I want to create a Six Sigma project business case and a project charter using the above problem statement. As you can see, I got a complete draft of the business case and charter. Let me copy this to a document. All we need to do now is make the relevant edits and fill the detail to the template. Let's now use ChatGPT to create a SIPOC in a table format. There you go. Copy that to the document as well. You can further refine this according to your real use case. Let me ask if I need to build a RASI chart and a team charter in table format next. Copy that to the document as well. Similarly, you can take help to draft process map. You can also come up with a list of root causes in a fishbone template. You can also run analysis and generate potential solutions. Or you can go very specific and ask for potential solutions including technologies such as RPA, AI, generative AI, standardization and simplification etc. Once you get a list of ideas, you probably pick one of them. Leverage AI for invoice data extraction and verification. And I'm going to ask ChatGPT to create a solution design document followed by a process design document. All I need to do is to use this template to edit and build relevant documents you need. It can also perform some data analysis by copying the data into the ChatGPT. But be mindful about compliance procedures in your organization. You can ask specific questions such as calculate R square value or if you are using another software for data analysis, it can help you create a list of steps or functions you need to use for performing these steps in that software. It can also guide you to create visualization with the given data, provide specific instructions to build them on Google Sheet or Excel Sheet. Another area is best practices and benchmarking. You can build the prompts specific to your industry and find out which company is performing best in supplier payment, for example, in the automotive industry and how they do it. I think you guys now have an idea and just explore and practice and build the prompts according to your needs. I hope you guys found this video useful. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe my channel. Looking forward to see you in the next video. Have a good day. Take care.